Insta360 have just released their brand new 360 camera, the Insta360 X4. In this video, I'm gonna break down what's new about this, why I use these cameras, and find out if this version is any good. Let's get into it. So I've been a big fan of using these 360 cameras, the X3, I had the X2, and now the X4. And I find with 360 cameras, Insta360 are simply untouchable. Why I like using them is because you've got two cameras. So this will give you a completely different perspective. It'll give you a 360 view of your surroundings. And then it gives you that option afterwards to decide exactly where you want that framing to be. So all you have to do basically is hit record and it will film out of both the front camera and the rear camera. Then afterwards on the app or on the desktop version, you can decide afterwards exactly what you want that framing to be. You can also choose the aspect ratio. So it gives you lots of different options after the fact, which action cameras simply don't do. And we've also seen Invisi sticks from different manufacturers, but the Insta360 versions, these are the best. They are super lightweight. All you do is connect this to the bottom of the X4. You just extend this out and then you have it out in front of you. And then this whole invisible stick literally becomes invisible in the software. You don't have to do anything. It just automatically takes care of it. So you can get, again, this really cool angle from either high up in front of you, behind. I'm using this Invisi stick all the time. It's really good. But what I've always found to be a downside to these cameras is the actual video quality. It's never been like really sharp and fantastic quality coming out of these 360 cameras. However, what's great to see is that the X4 has now had a camera upgrade. This now shoots in 8K resolution up to 30 FPS. Now, why this is fantastic is that when you're shooting in 8K, it shoots in 8K on both of these cameras. So on the previous version, this shot in 5.7K out of both. Now, when you would go to then export that video, you can only actually export in 1080p on the X3. But now because this is filming in 8K, you can actually export this now at 2.7K. So a bump there in the quality. And I find the video quality from this certainly looks a lot better. You see good amounts of detail, nice dynamic range. The colors look really good coming straight out of this without any need for any post-processing. So if you're a complete beginner, you're not familiar with color grading, I think the colors coming out of here look really good. Nice and sharp. Now, a lot of action cameras, the sharpness is actually too much. I find this, again, straight out of camera. With all of these shots here, there's no editing done whatsoever. This is giving you a real world example of what this is going to look like if you just hit record yourself. And it also handles the highlights well. If you look into the skies, there's no highlight blowout. So I think the colors and the way it actually handles all of the sharpness and detail is so much better now. Now, this shoots in 8K up to 30 FPS, but you can still shoot in slow motion. So it's got 5.7K up to 60 FPS, and you can shoot at 4K up to 100 FPS. And you can also take really nice photos on here as well. So I was using this a lot in Paris, taking photos. Now, rather than giving my camera or this camera to somebody else, asking them to take a shot, all I had to do was, again, connect this to the selfie stick, extend this all the way out, and then it actually takes a photo. Now it can take multiple photos, but it can also take a 72 megapixel 360 photo. And this is great, again, in a rushed, busy environment like this, you're not sure about the frame and you just wanna take that shot. You might wanna take multiple shots. But the best thing is, is that I can just extend this, hit self timer, so it's gonna take a picture every three or five seconds. And then afterwards, when I get home or when I'm sat having a drink or something, I can then go onto the app and I can actually choose exactly where I want that framing to be. Because again, with that photo, it captures everything from the front and the back and the stitching is spot on. So again, these examples here, I've taken a photo and then afterwards I can decide exactly where I want the framing to be. This is what makes it so much easy for, especially for travel, if you just wanna take a camera with you, capture video and photos of both you and the surroundings. These are a great choice. Now, in a lot of my testing, I was shooting in 8K 30 FPS to get that highest resolution. Now, when I heard the words 8K, I was thinking, how is this going to handle overheating? And what is this gonna be like for file sizes? So for overheating, I had no issues actually with the camera overheating. I didn't have any warning messages. Now, I was moving around. So I feel if you're actually moving around with the camera, it's not just static in place, then you're not gonna have any issues filming in 8K. 
If you're going to have this in place and just filming something statically, like on a tripod, then I would probably keep it in 5.7K. But in relation to overheating, I was pleasantly surprised that there was none. So that's really good. And also the file sizes have got a lot smaller. You can film in H.264, H.265 and ProRes. And it's great to see that these file sizes are now a lot smaller, a lot more reduced than they were on the X3. So especially when you're filming in 8K, this is going to make a massive difference. Now the X4 is slightly taller and also a little bit chunkier than the X3, but this does bring a good advantage. We now have a larger touch screen. So the touch screen on here, it's now 2.5 inches, so bigger than the X3, but this has a new chip inside of it. So navigating all the menus on here, it's much faster, much snappier. You can also preview all your footage that you've actually recorded on here. All the menus are laid out really nice. So again, for a beginner, this is gonna be really easy to just pick up and start shooting. Now also the glass on here, it now is made from Gorilla Glass. So if you're worried about actually getting this scratched or dropping this, this screen is now a lot more protected because of this Gorilla Glass. And also the lens as well, you can also get a lens guard for this. So a premium lens guard that just attaches onto here. So you have that confidence now when you're actually moving and ground, you can have a lens guard on or it also comes in the box with this rubber guard. So you can just keep that on here, which I do a lot. And then that lens is fully protected. Just take this off, start filming, and then you're gonna have no distortion, no worries whatsoever. And then when you've got this in your bag, I just put this back on all that premium lens guard, and then both lenses are fully protected. So the build quality on here, is a bit chunkier, but I find it is easier to hold now. So it's got a nice grip on it, really nice rubber grip all around. Um, so you can hold it like this, but majority of the time, you're gonna have this on the selfie stick anyway, and then just have this extended out in front of you. Now, of course, you can still use this underwater. The whole X4 is completely waterproof down to 10 meters. And that's without any case. Now you can get a separate dive case as well, if you want to. Now the battery on here, battery life was always pretty good on the X3 version of this, but now it's even better. So now you can actually record in up to 135 minutes, which in 360 stay is 67% better from one of these batteries. But you don't just have to use this as a 360 camera. You can also use it as a traditional action camera. And you can see from these shots, they're all really stable because of this flow state stabilization. And the quality again, from this video coming out of this camera, I find is such a big improvement over that X3. And then all you do is just extend this selfie stick out in front of you, and then you can film your environments just like you would with the action camera, or you can actually use the front lens and then it will actually record you. And it's good to see we've got a new view on here as well called Mega View, which gives you a better image quality. So don't think that this is just a 360 camera. So I'm using these 360 cameras really in two main settings. One, when I'm actually filming on my own, and this can then act as my own personal cameraman. All I've got to do is actually just hit record, and it's going to film that whole environment for me. So a lot of the time, I've actually just got this on a tripod or on my bike mounted, and then it's going to film not only me on the bike, or it could film the environment, or it could have this just set off to the side, and it's going to film everything. And then I can frame afterwards exactly where I want that framing to be without any hassle. So that's really good. And then the other setting is in a family scenario. So this example Paris I don't want to be focused on the camera solely going through all the different menus and settings so all I have to do on here is simply just hit record and then I can transfer all the files to my laptop or to my phone and then I can choose afterwards after the fact when I got home exactly where I want that framing to be it just makes life so much easier when you're out with the family and it's also great for capturing memories of your children as well so if you were to give your child one of these cameras if you were to give them a normal action camera they're going to be running off and they're going to be pointing this everywhere and it's going to be really shaky and that framing is going to be terrible the beauty of this is because it's recording from both cameras you can choose afterwards exactly where you want that framing to be you can correct all of their errors and that video is still going to look great because the stabilization built into here and you can also edit your footage really easily on the Inter360 app now on your phone. So say you're not familiar with how to edit the footage on here, all you do is import it to your phone and then you actually have a feature now where it will automatically, using AI, edit your footage. Really easy to use, especially for beginners, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna analyze them video clips and then automatically export your video for you done so you can share it on social media or on YouTube without you having to do any manual editing. It's great that you have now a choice. Either let it do it for you automatically via the software, or you can manually edit it and show exactly where you want that framing to be yourself 
you now have that choice. But you can also change the aspect ratio as well. So let's just say I had this out in front of me and I was filming a horizontal 16 by nine video. But I want a portion of this to actually put on my Instagram. So an Instagram story. So I want that now to be vertical. So you can then go afterwards, after the fact again, in the application and change the aspect ratio from 16 by nine to vertical format for Instagram stories, maybe for an Instagram post. It gives you all of these different options. It is really, really clever. And if you edit in Premiere Pro, it has a plugin which supports all the files on here. So you can edit everything from this camera directly in Premiere Pro, skipping the need to use the Insta360 Studio app. So the price of this is $499. I'm gonna link it at the top of the description where it's currently in stock. It's great to see the video quality now is much better. Battery life has an improvement. So overall, I highly recommend these 360 cameras. These are always in my camera bag. I use this as a tool for me all the time because I can then either use the 360 cameras to film me, film my environments, capture memories when I'm out on vacations, or simply just use this as an action camera. But now because the quality is better, I'll be using these even more. So let me know what you think about the Insta360 X4. Have you got the X3 and you're considering upgrading? Would you upgrade to this based on the spec and what I've shown you so far? I'm gonna be doing some follow-up videos on this as well, so make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.